he came to my house after he streamed that one night and just said he was done and i was like well good for you i'm not so yeah and now we're here chat four years later or something whatever it is yeah it has been a while yeah you know there's uh, the facebook does matt yeah it's a, it's kind of a joke matt yeah, it's kind of a joke. Carson put it in there and it made me laugh, so it's still there. I will say, like, you can work with your family. Like, I could I could work with Dad, you know? I could work with Lord James. I could probably work with my other brother that, like, has the kids and he's all about the tech stuff. But there's just some people you can't work with. And uh, he, he's one of those people, you know? He's one of those people. Uh, Frank, if you want to, you're more than welcome to join. I don't, I don't know. We're just kind of doing some, some, uh, missions. Wait, where'd you guys go? Wait, field eight. How did we not finish field eight? Guys. Um, did you do? Zach, you don't have more corn on, on you, do you? I'm empty. You didn't take any from this field to the other place, did you? No. Because it was less than a truckload for either mission. It's 84% complete. Did I take it to the right? I'm assuming, I mean, I take it to the place that's flashing down there. It's the only harvest contract yeah, we have out, so. Matter of fact, even this one goes to the same place, so. Which one are you on now? 25. Is that corn as well? Yeah. Yes. And we'll just see if it shakes out. We'll just we'll haul it there. Hopefully it will. I mean, there's there's certain people you can work with, and there's certain people you can't. And I guess the other thing is like you know it's it's both of our faults because like we didn't have an agreement like before we started making money, and then once we started making money, it was kind of too late to make an agreement. It is harder to work with siblings than it is parents. I would agree with that a hundred percent. Yeah. It went towards the field 25 minutes. Okay. That's fine. Um, cause like, you know, at the time, you know, I was cutting grass. I was making okay money, but like he put in more money to start Puma plow. And according to a spreadsheet that we had at the time, I say we, I mean, he had on a Puma plow computer, you know, he got paid back every dime because like the YouTube money just went straight into his account. That was another mistake. We should have started a separate joint account so that we would, the money would have been going to a different place besides his bank account. Right. So mistake on my part for not starting that and not, you know, kind of sticking up for like, Hey, we should do it this way at the time. No, didn't think it would be a problem. I didn't think we'd really make any money. It didn't didn't start to make money, you know. Didn't start this whole thing to like even make a penny. It was just hey, let's do it for fun, which is what I do now. I do it for fun, not for the money. But you know, according to the spreadsheet, he got paid back. And then when I started having questions about like, you know, well, why can't I get paid back for like buying an editing program or buying a monitor? I couldn't get paid back for those things, but he could get paid back for going out and buying stuff. And then it was just like, okay, that's kind of weird, you know? And then when I really had questions about the spreadsheet, the spreadsheet magically wasn't there anymore. So. Of course it wasn't. Yeah, the spreadsheet magically just vaporized. And then he claimed that I owed him, like, all kinds of money. And it's like, I don't see how. Because YouTube, like, I know what we were making off YouTube at the time because I have access to that and I always have, you know, because you log into the account, you can see all that stuff. And so, I mean, I know what we were making and I know kind of what we were spending because I know how much like, you know, different programs or consoles or whatever we were buying monitors. I knew what all that stuff cost at the time. And he definitely made money off of it. And then would claim that he was owed all this money. And it's like, I oh, just didn't, didn't, didn't gel. So, Yeah. But hey, Puma Plaza is about fun these days, not about money. The money is a um, a perk of doing something I love. 
if there was no money and, and no subs or any of that stuff, I'd still be doing it just as much as I am now. Except for uh, days I would have to go cut grass to make money <laughs> to live, you know. But because everybody's generous and uh, all that good stuff, I don't have to, you know, go flip burgers at McDonald's or something, right? I don't have to go get a job working with my dad, you know. Just saying. So I appreciate you guys. They've, he's wanted me to come to work for him for a long time, and I'm like, I just can't, can't deal with that boss guy. Like, I just can't. can't. Have her oh, right, Pepper. Frank donated five dollars. No thanks, Thank you. Frank. I heard there would be tacos and cokes in twenty minutes. What? Frank, appreciate the five bucks, man. We'll have like gaming and pizza. That's great, Matt. I like it. Oh, Matt, speaking of pizza, pizza simulator. Matt posted this in Discord yesterday. It's literally a game called Pizza Simulator. Did you know you, like, sabotage your competition in that game, Matt? Did you watch the trailer on Steam? Because it was funny. And then there's another game called Cooking Simulator. But it has a pizza a DLC. That looks pretty crazy, too. But Pizza Simulator looks uh, very interesting. You have to, like, sabotage your competition and stuff. It's kind of weird, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's kind of... Kind of weird. And... So, yeah. I hope that answered the questions about uh, is is Mike coming back? Um, absolutely not. <laughs> no. I will say the setup that we had at his house though was awesome. Way back in the day, that was a legitimate setup. Of course, we were mostly console players back then, so we had Xbox Ones and 360s hooked up, HDMI switches, so we could just push a button and go to whatever we wanted when. Towards the end there, we each had a had a okay computer. The one was really garbage. The other one was was pretty decent at the time. It was it was great. I like we could have we could have up to four people like all mic'd up and and talking and stuff. And it was it was quite the setup we had going there. But I like my solo setup now too. Someday I'll get like another spot out here maybe. I have Tony come over and play some Warzone and record his angle too. You know it. <laughs> Maybe someday. I don't know. Maybe not like a permanent thing, but like a yeah temporary setup type, type deal. Because I'm not sure at this point how I would like microphone a second person with my current audio setup. Be like, hey, lean into my microphone. We'll share. Okay. No, that would not happen. For the record that, that wouldn't be weird not at all not uncomfortable at all. yeah did i clean he stopped for dad yet oh the other pc no it's still sitting next to me it's still sitting next to me. I haven't touched it. He wasn't like, he's not really on board to like switch PCs. So I haven't really like pushed it, you know, like his PC is really bad, but it works for him. So he doesn't really care. Oh, so, no, it's just sitting over here next to me. Someday. Got to get him on board with it, you know? kind of difficult sometimes to get the old man on board with stuff but you know is what it is I guess uh, thanks for that host appreciate you uh, like us like if Tony's in the same room record the team speak I probably could yeah Yo, Bane Storms, what's up, man? How you doing? Thanks for the raid. How's the farming? What's poppin', bro? How you doing, sir? 
Welcome in Raiders. Welcome to Indiana. We're doing some missions right now. I'm uh, delegated to the truck driver on uh, small corn missions. So uh, it's really thrilling stuff here, guys. Uh, Chad, if you haven't followed Bane, go give him a follow. He's a good guy. I lurk in his channel from time to time. I don't talk. I don't talk anywhere, but I do lurk. Always watching. Nothing creepy about that. I was watching him plow the other day, actually. I was watching Bane plow. A good time. Lurk away. I love the lur lurkers. I is one, you know? Would that have been yesterday, Bane? I think that was yesterday. Are you doing some plowing? Might have been yesterday. It was yesterday before I went to the farm. Yeah. Yeah. It was a good time. What's up, guys? Welcome in. Welcome in. Like I say, guys, we're doing some uh, missions here. We just started this map Saturday. We played it Tuesday, and we're back in it today. And we're just hanging out doing some contract work. Leonard, thanks for that gift sub to Bane. Appreciate you, man. Oh, you're going on hiatus. Uh-oh. Interesting. Anything important that you missed? I just told a great story about my brother. <laughs> oh, big move. Bane, congrats on the move. I didn't know that. That's awesome, man. Howdy, howdy, guys. Welcome on in. Welcome in, guys. Again, with what you were talking about, yeah. It can be difficult working with family. Mm-hmm. Um, and it, well, working around the, the farm and all that, you know, you know, now I worked with dad, so yeah, there was that relationship of, okay, he is the boss. Sure. Yeah. You know, now I'm not going to say sure. that one times him and I had little arguments about, you know, frivolous crap, but wait, so we're going to get out of the bridge. No big deal. Yeah. 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 For sure. For sure. And, you know, dad and I butt heads at the farm sometimes. I won't even lie, you know. Well, you're going to. But it was different with, with my brother. It was it was definitely different. Yeah. Now, it was, if it was the same operation with, say, one of my siblings, uh, that could have caused problems because, yeah. you know, feelings are going to get hurt when somebody has to ultimately say, look, I'm the one in charge of this operation. Yep. Now, shut up. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. And see, it was supposed to be, and, and Chad, if you guys don't know what we're talking about, you know, I started Poop and Plow with my brother, and things went south, and somebody was asking earlier about it, like, we've, we've been kind of chatting about it, and like, how hard it is to work with family, siblings especially. It's very difficult, and especially when it was supposed to be like a 50-50 thing to, to get into it, like, that was Poop and Plow, it was supposed to be a 50-50 deal, and then it just went way sideways, you know? So, yeah, Bane, are you moving states? Where? How far is the move? You don't need to say like where to where, but how like how many miles are you moving? Oh, across town. Okay. Nice. Gotcha, man. That's good. I know. I don't know why. I've lived in the same house my whole life. I couldn't imagine like just picking up and moving to like Florida from Missouri. Like that would just be. I just. I. I couldn't. I can't imagine. You know. What about moving across town? I want to move to my farm. <laughs> That's where I want to move someday. All right, moving out to the burbs. Nice. How's the internet at the new place? That's the important thing, Bane. <laughs> How's the internet at the new place? Ah, I gotcha. Dude, burb life is great. I live in the burbs. It's great. Well, well, it used to be great. <laughs> so, you know, yeah. Wait, Google Fiber. That's a W. So, uh, Bane, you got a spare room? I mean, stream house? I, I don't know if you're, like, married or nothing, but, like, I can, I can cook. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I think he is married. <laughs> I, what would be wrong with living in a barn? I would totally do that. 
Uh, thanks for that follow, by the way. Appreciate you. Welcome to the flock. How's it going? Yeah, I've lived in the same same house my whole life. My parents moved in this house when, uh, let's see, my parents have lived here. Well, mom's obviously gone now, but they they got the house, uh, I want to say like 40 years ago at this point. And I've just, I've lived here all my life. So. The most time I've spent away from here was like two weeks. In like one shot. So. Yeah. Dude, I could, okay, imagine this. You take my big shed that we have at the farm. You fix the thing up, like fix the foundation, probably put a new roof on it. You insulate the walls. You pour a concrete floor with heat in it. You could live in that thing. It'd be great. Seal it up, you know, with, with insulation and stuff. And, man. More man. Oh, it could be done. Oh, yeah. I mean, the, but the main part of that shed is from 1918, but it could definitely be done. I got you, Bane. Lived in the city for half your life. Still not a... I got you. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, Stream Barn. Stream Barn. We'll get a couple Google... Or not, not Google. Uh, we'll get a couple SpaceX... Uh, uh, what's it called? Starlink satellites so we can each have our own connection, you know? Five head. I've always thought about turning a grain bin into a house, too. That'd be pretty sick, right? That'd be that'd be kind of cool, grain bin house. Lots of insulation though, because grain bins grain bins get really hot in the summer. That would be kind of cool. Lots of insulation <laughs> would be required. Uh, just make sure the uh, ventilation fans working and just kick that on. Well, and then in the winter we just turn the burner on, right, Sarge? And there you go. Because <laughs> if I was gonna do it, it would be the what used to be the drying bin, and so we have we don't have it hooked up but we do have the burner and the and the uh the blower for it it would be that'd be kind of crazy you have to put a big air filter on that too you know <laughs> grain bins and grain bins in texas yeah dude they they're bad it's bad man it's bad <laughs> five minute shifts yeah, you put uh, two by six walls inside your grain bin, and then you spray foam it with with six inches of insulation. It'd be great. It'd be peachy. It'd be peachy in there. I mean, I'm talking like a big air conditioning unit too, obviously. But it'd oh, be good I've to go. I've seen where people have converted them into living spaces and oh yeah, all kinds of stuff. All that. Yeah. Oh, it's it's doable. That's for sure. Uh, that'd be a five head idea though. You 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 concrete in our uh, big shed that we have now, fix the foundation, and then spray foam the whole thing after you put a new roof on, maybe a new tin all the way around. You'd spend a lot of money, but a lot of that work I could do myself, you know. <laughs> you can get your dad to pay for that. You can get blood from a turnip. Is it bad? I I pulled a turnip yesterday. Like. We had turnips, you know, they're obviously they're for the fall, right? And, uh, wait, are they? Yeah, they're turnips. Yeah. And over the winter, you know, it got really cold here, right? Like really cold here for uh, like almost two weeks. And they kind of like, they just kind of were whatever. And then all of a sudden they started greening up the other day. Like the tops are coming back out, new growth. I pulled one yesterday. It looks perfect. It looks like a nice, nice turnip. And it's like, why? Why would you, what, what? You know, Bane, I uh, pulled a turnip one time and I was told you can eat them raw. So I pulled it, I pulled out the pocket knife and I cut a little sliver. Most disgusting thing I've ever tasted. I did not like it. We grow them and give them away to people. Dad knows, like a bunch of old guys. Old older people yeah, seem to can, love love the turnips. Want to eat one raw? <laughs> Do you like them, Sarge? Like cooked, like mashed potatoes or something? But turnips occasionally. Okay. Dad knows. Uh, actually, it was my mom's cousin. He's one of them. Dad's barber is another guy. Just some some people. Dad's known over the years. They just go crazy for turnips. 
But we grow them every year and give them all away. We don't. Now, there's a lot of things like that. On occasion, it's nice to have. I got gotcha. you. Do I want to have it all the time and go nuts over it? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dad, uh, Dad won't touch them. Dad won't eat them. He can't stand. No. Mm -mm. But we, we give away... I would hate to think it's just our little patch. How many like turnips we pull and we give away. We actually had uh for some reason, people, when they come to pumpkin day, it's a thing. Now people are always like, Oh, you got turnips ready. It's like, you never would have thought these people would be into turnips. They're all about them. It's kind of weird. <laughs> hey, so I follow. Appreciate you. Welcome to the flock. How's it going? You seem to use for like food for critters. Okay. Interesting. If field nine contract is done, what was that? Very nice. Uh, Frank mentioned bail or uh, cotton mission. If you move some of the stuff out of the thing there, Frankie, you're more than welcome. But we need to move equipment out of the uh, out of the place there. You know, that's what we need to do. Get old chap. My good old chap. What's up? How's it going? Hey, okay. Hang on. Rocks. Okay. Rocks wants more cultivating missions. So we will take more cultivating missions. I actually have that one fertilizing mission. Well... Probably should borrow that just so we have no room at the shop again. Never mind. Okay. There's a name I haven't seen in chat in a minute. Holy cow, Dwayne, what's up? <laughs> Maybe Dwayne. <laughs> All right, Bane, thank you so much for uh, stopping in. I appreciate it. And uh, have fun moving. Be safe. Remember, lift with your back in a twisting, jerking motion. That's how you lift boxes, right? Sure. With your back, twisting, jerk. Yep, that's how you do it, I think. Have a good move, Bane, and we'll catch you, man. Looking forward to your streams hopefully next week. Are you gonna, hopefully, maybe. And as, be back. and as violently as possible. Yes, as violently as possible. Yes. As violently as possible. <laughs> you lift using your wallet. Smart man chat. Bane Storm smart man lift using his wallet. We'll catch you, Bane. Have a good day. <laughs> That's my kind of way to move. Can we just take a second? Moving somebody else is like the worst thing ever, right? You ever had to like go move somebody? That's the worst thing ever. I've helped out a few times. Can't stand it. All right, Mrs. Professor, have fun with chores. We'll catch you. We will catch you. I just, I really don't like moving people. Really don't like moving people. I showed up to move somebody once in their kitchen, like all their dishes were still in their cabinets. And like they had food like still in their cabinets and yeah, they weren't ready to go at all. Yes. After lifting, uh, using your back with a twisting, jerking motion. If you hear a popping sound, you're doing it right. Yes. Definitely. Zach, I'm going to have to probably run after. Well, I don't know. Let's see, I'm, yeah, I'm on the last pass right now. So yeah, I think he might fill me up though. Tony, where are you going? <laughs> Tony, first day driving cart? No, you just got to keep her level, you know? Do you, though? Yeah. You. I'll be able to probably fit the rest of this on me, and I'll just meet you somewhere and dump in here. Roger that. Because I'll be full. 
Probably should have run last time you dumped, but we were too busy talking about lifting with your back in a twisting, jerking motion. So, my bad, chat. <laughs> it's not popping, you're not trying. You're not doing it right, that's for sure. Okay. I love the angles in this game and the way, way things work, you know? Come on, Bessie. Come on. Yeah, you know, you can spill grain in this game and not spill. It's great. Gotta love the way that works. I think so. I appreciate you. Welcome to the flock. How's it going? Welcome on in. All right. This goes to the same place, right? Call up. Yeah. Yep. Okay. I saw two circles flash and I was like, wait. The cotton mission. Hey, I'm great, man. What's up? I'm great, chat. Dude, I've started my day off right today, boys. My pre stream meal, breakfast, lunch, whatever you want to call it. Homemade leftover pizza. Can't beat it. W. It wasn't oh, W. Good. My pepperoni and meatball with Provel cheese pizza. Mmm, doggy. Now, do you eat it cold or warm it up? No, warm it up, bro. I like cold pizza, but it's got to be like thin crust. Yeah. I like thin crust cold pizza, but I don't. If I make homemade, I got to warm it up. Oh, you big like. Are you like a, a, th a thick crust homemade guy? Uh, it's not super like a, thick. Like a medium? You're in school watching? Uh oh, pay attention, man. You're the future of America, you know? Pay attention. A little bit, anyway. <laughs> Every once in a while, right? Uh, so, Zach, I make like a dough recipe, right? Like one recipe worth of dough. Okay, whatever that comes out to be. I don't know. And then I... Stretch it out to like a half sheet pan. So, I mean, it's still pretty good size, you know? Okay. You probably don't know what a sheet pan or a half sheet is, do you? Like a cookie sheet, though, right? <laughs> I know. I don't know. I don't cook. <laughs> I don't cook. I don't clean. All right? Uh huh? <laughs> but no. I do clean. I do cook. I just don't. We don't make homemade dough. We don't. Nobody got time for that. It doesn't take that much time, though. That's the funny part. Papa frozen beets in the oven, you know, just call her. Papa Chucky milk. I mean, it's thicker than, like, um. Let's see. It's probably in between, Zach, like a Domino's hand tossed and a thin crust. Okay. It's probably in between both of those. More so towards like the hand tossed thickness, you know? So. But it's really not. It doesn't take that much time. And it's only. It's literally flour in the mixer. You put flour, some salt, flour, salt, some oil. That's all you put in the mixer. And then you start in like, a, we always use like a coffee mug. You start with some nice warm water. Okay. All right. And you put your yeast in there and you put some sugar and you let your yeast like bloom up. Basically it starts to, it's alive and it grows, you know, because you know, that's what yeast does, right? All right. And then once that's blooming real good and kind of, kind of growing and, you know, making a, a mess almost. You dump that in the mixer. You let that mix for a little bit. And you might have to add a little bit more warm water. And that's it. That's pizza dough. Like, it is simple. So, that's 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 the dough I make right there. Let it mix in the mixer. I actually used to make it in a food processor. Uh, but now I use the mixer, KitchenAid mixer. And uh, once you get it all mixed together for, like, you know, let it kind of mix for a while. You throw it on a pan and cover it with a towel, set it on top of your stove for 15 minutes or better. And then you, uh, 
and lets it rise and then you stretch it out and throw it in the oven You're good to go Thanks, Jeff. I appreciate you. Welcome to the flock. How's it going? Are we done with harvest missions? Are we done with harvest missions that we're doing, I should say? I think that was the last one, unless something else come up. That's the last of the come mine harvest missions. Okay. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. My aunt has apparently hit one of the buttons on the remote for the TV that's like the smart features. And she's like, there's all these movies on the t on the screen. I don't know what I did. I gotta fix that in a little bit. People with technology, am I right? <laughs> oh goodness! But hey, that soundbar I got, man, that thing. Loving it. Had the whole house rumbling the other night. Yeah, Tony, we I, we don't have any sheds, do we? <laughs> he does not. This homestead kind of kind of lacking in the uh, shed department here. So, all right, squeeze past you. I'm from the Midwest, can you tell? Yeah, probably should, Bert. We'll help her out. She gets worked up about stuff like that if if it's not right, you know. So. Actually, this is a good point for me to go take a break. You guys want to do, um, we can do I those. think I'm actually going to take a break too. Okay. So we break and then we can go back at things. Get back and do those, uh, Bailey missions. Huh? Absolutely. Actually, our field, is our field ready yet? Um, I will return. All right, Tony, our field, our field. Okay. Our fields need a fast time. Okay. That's what it is. It looks like they're harvesting cotton. So, yeah. All right. I will return. All right, chat. I'm just going to take an early break real fast and go uh, fix some stuff for my niece. Or not my niece, my aunt. My aunt was with us, and she pushed a button on the remote and didn't know what she did. So I'll be right back. Chat, don't go anywhere. We'll be back with some uh, mowing missions and bailing missions. Stuff. BRB. All right, chat. Thank you guys for sticking around. Welcome back. Like, okay. Interesting. Interesting. How y'all doing? Thanks for sticking around, guys. We, uh... She hit the on-demand button on the Spectrum remote. And she didn't know what it was. <laughs> so, we should be good now. Hopefully. She's in there trying to fold towels, and she needs to watch her TV, you know? Uh, Matt, have a good day at work. We'll catch you. We will catch you. So everything's good. Let's uh, get back into it. All right. All right. Okay. Rock says BRB. Okay. All right. So, we need to take some other missions here. And actually, the harvest on 8 is complete. 25 was complete. And the cultivating missions, I don't think I can turn in because we have all these other ones active. But it looks like they're not doing them. Okay. You know what? I'm going to go fertilize 10 real fast. That's worth a lot of money. So let's get that done real fast. Seems legit. There's 10. I don't even know. 10's that. No, that's nine. 10's down there. Didn't I already do 10 once? I did. What is 10? And it's sunflowers. Okay. Let's go do 10 again then. Why not? Why not? Yeah, the on-demand button. 
Like, I don't know what I did. I'm like, well, you hit the on-demand button, but that's okay. At least you didn't go buy a bunch of movies, right? Because <laughs> it's possible. It's all it is possible. Anyway. Let's pitter to patter down to ten real fast. Get that done again. And we'll do some uh bailing missions. By the way, I think there was a follow while I was in the house. Appreciate that. Welcome in. Appreciate you. Alright. All right, is there a road? Way. Gotta go this way. Still learning this map. I don't know where a lot of the fields are and stuff. Still learning. I know that's our bail cell point right there on the right. For our Haylidge bales. I know that much. Alright, let's go around the horn here and see what, uh, other guys were doing. We'll just bring them all in here. What are you guys working on? Cotton harvest. Shocker. Just got in from uh, the flood. The flood. Yeah. Uh oh, Trent. That's not good. Your place flooding out. Uh. Like your driveway. You won't be able to get out of the culvert tomorrow. Really. Man. I'm doing a cultivating mission on 18. Okay. Very nice. The equipment from field nine, I guess. Yeah, so I wasn't going to turn into any of the cultivating missions yet because I know we we're using that equipment for other ones probably, so I don't want to mess that up. Then I took the equipment for 31 and we're harvesting 19 without taking the equipment. Okay. 8,000 take the equipment for field 19 and 1,000 for field 31, so... Five head, Frank. Five head. <laughs> Five head move there, Franco. It's kind of funny that 10 came back up with another round of fertilizing right away. I think it went up a growth stage right after you finished it. It, it must have, yeah, because it wasn't like this when I, yeah. I did it the first time. But that's okay. It's all good. Lock it in. Let's go. Lock it in. <laughs> yeah, I see on top of the flood at 26 mile an hour wind and 43 degrees. Oh. The fun combo. Say if it wasn't so windy, I'd say take the drone up and get some pictures of the, the flood water. Yeah, I would, but it's. And that's just all rainwater, uh, right? Yeah, this is all rain. Like, it's not coming from a river or a stream or nothing. It's just coming out of the fields, right? Yep. Yeah. Really no rivers by me. Gotcha. What's that like? <laughs> just saying. For wind today, we can't spray down some uh, herbicide. We can't spray down some Teflon, so. Gotcha. You're going to make the weeds non-stick? No, Teflon is a brand of herbicide for, like, grass. Oh. Gotcha. It's kind of like 2,4-D. Yeah. Broadleaf weed killer. Yeah, basically. Gotcha. But it's a little bit better version of it. Yeah, the regular old 2,4-D has been around for a billion years, but... Yeah. Still works on a lot of stuff around here, anyway. It doesn't work on anything down here, because we use that... I got immune to that, so we went to a glyphosate. Different kinds oh. of glyphosate, it got immune to those. Yeah. Then we use either a specialty chemical that's a more advanced version of like 240, or we use an acid that burns everything down. So, yeah. Our biggest problem is the dreaded water hemp. Our biggest yeah. issues, fox. Our biggest issues are foxtail morning glories. So. Glorious water hemp of the Midwest. <laughs> we actually didn't have too much last year. Really? 
What's that like? But I also do go out in the field and walk it. And That's the weeds. a problem. Nobody wants to do that anymore, Trent. That's called work. <laughs> what is this work you're talking about? People don't like to do it. Uh, manual labor. The worst spot of water hemp that I that I deal with is out along our lane. Not throwing shade at Zach's family, but like it's a long ground that his family farms. And I'm like I said, not throwing shade, but my God, the water hemp out there. It's terrible. And you know, if, if you, if they get over six inches tall, forget it. You can't kill them. Can't kill them. Terrible. Junk. Oh yeah. Yes. Another one of our main weeds that we try to fight is Johnson grass. So. Oh yeah. They don't have, have a Cause... wonderful and Western rye. <laughs> oh. Doesn't live in the Midwest. They're trying to live in the desert. Yep. Oh, there, it, I guess there is a, a rye as a weed down there. Oh. Interesting. There is, but it's not very common. Normally gotcha. that Teflon will take care of it. You ever have wild asparagus? Did yes. you ever see that? Uh, I've seen a few uh, places. I haven't because if i seen it. Or if it's in the grass, I usually mow it. Out in the... Um, the town in Maryland where my sister-in-law was from, they had what they called ditch asparagus. And it would just grow in like a bunch of the ditches in town. And nobody would harm, like they would just go out and pick it and eat it. And that was a big Why? thing every spring, ditch asparagus. Which always kind of floored me because like we grow it at the farm. We have asparagus beds at the farm, you know? That was always kind actually, of funny. Actually, we have a bunch of people down here that plant their asparagus next to the ditches. Yeah. For like personal use. Sure. And they'll plant enough of it to where they'll sell it and they'll get mm. it fairly cheap. That's where we get a lot of our asparagus is from a few different farming families. Asparagus is kind of a nightmare. Really hard to keep it clean, like as far as weeds. It's really hard. Although we were thinking about spraying our asparagus best with Roundup. Because, like, the asparagus isn't up yet. Yeah. So, it shouldn't... I mean, there's probably going to be some residue, but I don't eat the stuff, so I don't really care. Um, I mean, I do care, but, you know. But we were I thinking about... Asparagus. So, yeah, asparagus is nasty. Asparagus. I can't stand so, it. God. I eat asparagus either on the grill or cook it in the skillet with some vinegar, and it's so good. The last... Nice. Yeah, no. I'm good. No, thank you. I just never had a desire to try it. Turns your pee and makes your pee smell weird. <laughs> Where'd you learn that? Ah, First hand experience, buddy. <laughs> Pretty much. I used to eat it. You'd, you'd pan fry it with like some butter and maybe a little garlic or something, you know? It was it was okay, but I just never really, never really cared for it. I mean, I like to grill a lot of stuff. I like to grill practically anything. Pineapple. But, mm. No, pineapple, no. I, that's what? like one of the things I Hate so good. Like pineapple? Grilled pineapple is so good. It's so good. Yeah. Yo, if we ever have a Puma Plot meetup, it's just going to be like grilled pineapple and pineapple pizza. Pineapple pepperoni pizza, okay? That's all <laughs> we're having for our food. If you don't like it, I'm you can't come. Having pizza. <laughs> if you don't like it, you can't come, okay? <laughs> it's I not bad, so but you're old. Seat. I got you, man. I just not a. I'm not a fan of like anything green, really. You know, anything that you're supposed to eat, to like be healthy. I can't. How about beets? Y'all ever eat beets? Oh, no, no. God, let me just eat some dirt while I'm at it. You know, it's, I have to be in the mood for them. My grandma used to eat pickled beets by the jar full. She would just get a spoon and start oh. eating pickled beets. The only well, green vegetable that I eat is green bean. I mean, I will say, I like, I do actually like green beans. Uh, I I'll mess with salad all day long. Let's go. Yeah. Oh yeah. What about peas. Yeah, no, Not really a fan no. of peas, man. That's baby food. Peas are broccoli. Good. Broccoli. No, so, broccoli. Yeah, broccoli done right. It's really good. Yeah. Yes. That, that's a texture peas. thing for me. I like I like cauliflower actually. When I was a, I used to eat a ton of cauliflower as a kid. Just raw cauliflower, just yum. What? Raw cauliflower. No. That's actually good stuff with some like, peanut butter. What? 
What? Yeah. No, man. A little like Thousand Island or a little ranch dressing. Oh. Oh. So good. Peanut Oscars. butter on cauliflower? Yeah. Yes. No. Like we also put uh, peanut butter on our asparagus. Asparagus broccoli. Raw broccoli and peanut butter. It was so good. Oh. Chad, is this a thing? <laughs> just ruin peanut down butter down with cauliflower and broccoli. Dude, I'm, I don't think I can eat peanut butter. I'm never going to look at peanut butter again the same. Yeah, we'll do a fast break. That has peanut butter in there. I had one of those in like a year and a half, bro. They're good, but yeah, I don't know. Yeah, at least you didn't say you put chocolate on Well, actually, that's like <laughs> chocolate on everything, right? Uh, but no, I, I don't like, I definitely don't like asparagus. Um, Brussels sprouts. Oh my God. Nastiest yeah, thing ever. Nope. Brussels sprouts are so good. Ugh. Are you okay there, Rocks? Yeah, I kind of moved my controller and my controller wanted to go. My... Ah, gotcha. I actually really like, we grew Brussels sprouts one year at the farm. Man, they were, uh-huh. they had a good harvest. Like it was great. We grew a lot. That was a really good year. What about okra? No, I can't do okra. Speaking a foreign language to me now. I can't do okra. Like fried okra, Frank? I, I like fried okra and I like pickled okra. Never had pickled, but fried okra I can't stand. John, you don't like pickles, so you wouldn't like pickled okra. Fair play. Play. <laughs> You're probably Cause right. Because it's the same brine for the pickled okra. I mean, you're right. I do not like pickles. Yep. What was that? Yeah, I don't like pickles either, so. Pickles are good. They're delicious. Growing up, I hated them. Now I can't stop eating them. Okay. Wait. Oh, that static fire is going, isn't it? I guess it is, yeah. I got an alert on my phone. I thought it was my cameras because I heard somebody outside, but. That's a space flight? I think so. I play keyboard and mouse. Uh, thanks for that follow, by the way. Appreciate you. Welcome to the flock. How's it going? I am Apparently a keyboard. They started yet? Okay, it's supposed to go live. Yeah, it's right now. So. Yeah, it says it's waiting for him. Oh. Yes, and there must be. I'm not, I'm not gonna run it because I'll get distracted. You know. Ooh, shiny gonna... thing. What? Ooh, shiny thing. I yeah, I don't want to get distracted, but. I'm kind of trying to stream here. I should focus on what I'm doing, you know. What field are you guys in, with Cotton? 19. 19. Okay. Have you made any bales yet or no? About to. Uh, nope. I'm just going to get your truck moved out of the shop. Alrighty. Uh, Three quarters of the way is there. I'm Oops. back. Welcome back, Tony. Oh, what's going on? What's going on? Hey, man, it's in. Tube. What's going on, Danny? And listen, me and Johnny from Pool and Plow dropped into Griffin, How's Indiana, going, and farmed. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Trent is solid, bro. Uh, Tony, want to really look at is. those? Uh, you know, you know, you know. Listen, man. Okay, here's the strat, right? Johnny, I'm locked in. What's the strat? We should purchase. Well, okay. Hang on. Do any of those grass missions require a tether? Uh, um, because like I'm tempted no. to buy a tether and a rake, and then we just have them. No, you because know? it says to bail, cut, then bale the grass, wrap okay. them in the silage bales. Okay, there's like three missions, right? Yeah. All right, well let's. Hey, let's I, I do see a mission for Leonard. Uh oh, what's that? That field twenty nine mission. What is it? Something with the John Deere, probably, huh? Actually, hang on. Yeah. There's a tedding mission. Okay. You got. So, you actually got to look at him because this. I know uh, that's my I'm problem. I, I tend not to look at him. But what I'm saying is, if we just buy the equipment, then we can just not take the equipment with the, any of the missions. We just have to pay attention. We just have to pay attention when we actually go to. Uh, so like accept them. Thirty-six is the only one that requires a tether. Huh. We have a little bit of money right now. I mean, we're we're broke to the bank, but that's that's okay. 
That's just called the American dream. That's yeah. right. Thanks for that follow. Appreciate you. Welcome to the flock. How's it going? Okay, we can complete that mission in 20 or 10. Uh, we can't complete the cultivating missions, right? Uh, you could complete nine because that quad track uh, that runs in is a 17. That boy Tony. That boy Tony. Appreciate you. Okay. Ow. There's a, another fertilizer mission for 22. Yeah. And 23. 28. Oh, man. There's a lot. Um... Which mission required the tether? Uh huh. Uh, thirty-six. Okay, so let's work on that one first. You mean go fertilize or? No, you're gonna help me on the grass. You wanna grab the big M? Sure. All right, so let's do thirty-six. We're gonna buy a tether and a rake, okay? Pretty four is just bail it or yeah, cut it and wrap it. Okay, uh, tether. We don't need anything too crazy because, you know. Honestly, we could probably go by with the small one, right? Maybe the next one. Wait, this next one? Wait. It's 8.7 meters, only requires 40 horsepower. What? What? Or should we go with the Cavernalyn one? It's the DLC. That's a lot of money, though. You know? And we got money. I say we go with the 8.7 meter one because it's uh, $16,000. Do we really need anything massive, you know? No. A rake, I'd get a bigger rake, though. What are we getting? I've uh, decided to buy a tether and a rake. That way we can do the mowing missions without having to, like, lease the equipment at all. Does that make okay. sense? Yeah. Uh, are you gonna buy for the rake the big Willy? I don't know yet. And the coon. What's up, guys? Welcome in. Uh, so that's fourteen. That's twelve. I, should, I mean, probably go big with the rake, right? Yeah. Well, that's sixty grand. I don't know if I want to spend sixty grand. I mean, the Vicon is smaller, but also cheaper. It's not that much smaller. Yeah. Yeah, oh. there is one that I do like. What's that? That uh, Merge Max, but it's expensive. Yeah, that thing's nice, but it's it's spendy. I'm trying not to spend too much money. I'm going to go with the Vicon again, just because it's different and it's part of the DLC that we never use, you know? So, we'll go with that. I see in a rake that... A rake that looks like it would blog in America, you mean? I mean, I've okay, seen the that one. Coon one. Yeah. All right, where field are we going to? I already forgot. 36. 36. 36. Oh, that's way up there. Okay. What do I need to grip? Uh, Tony, what do you have? You have the more, right? Yes, sir. Sarge, we probably need to... I'm going to head to the shop. I'll grab both things from the shop. If you want to grab a baler. And yep. then I'll give gotcha. you one of the things when we get up to the field. But we'll get Tony Tony started on the moor. And he can okay. kind of... Which... It probably doesn't matter which tractor we... Uh, no. They're pretty all... Bill with versus Hall with. You got the Massey there? And the Massey's here. I'd use the Massey if I were you. Okay. I mean, I know you don't want to drive the pink tractor. So. Eh, not... not a <laughs> yeah, sitting up there too. Oh, is the yeah. oh the eight R's up there? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they actual John Deere. I mean, we could run the eight R on a uh, bail mover. Okay. Would probably be the best use of the eight R source power, right? Probably. Okay. I'm in the. That's probably needs probably needs very nice versus is another tractor. All right, case quad truck it is. <laughs> Or should we save up for an 8RX? Yes. <laughs> well, what about just to... buying that big M and cut out? The least actually, that, that would be a good idea is buy the big M and start buying the bailing equipment, yeah. Wait, so should I be just... spreading it now, then, since you're going to tether? it? Yeah, you can spread it. Oh, we should just buy the 9RT. Now, as far as the outer edge... You might be able to bail the outer, or the rake, 
break the outer yeah. edge and then let it go after that, Zach. That's a good idea. Unless you've already started, just pitter patter. Don't worry about it. All right, I'll just I'll swath like the or I'll just like drop in a row on the inner edge. Then yep. Pitter patter on the outside. You're good. Or on the inside, man. See, there's Leonard with his 8R. There it is, chat. You were here. 36. I'm not sure how to get up to it, to be honest. Uh, you take that road that parallels ours. And just keep going? Yeah, yeah. Run right into I don't know what I figured, but I wasn't sure. All right, we got a banger for you. Listen, we can Ted and Rake chat. But it doesn't work like that. Unfortunately. Ted, it won't work in reverse. Which would be really strange if you did this in real life, because you wouldn't want to Ted and then rake it right back up immediately, you know? It's kind of not how it works, yeah. Yeah. I mean, the seasons uh, on the actual Geon stuff, and like the Simplified. Yeah. You'd have to wait a day or two. Uh, even on Simplified, I think you do. You have to wait for it to turn colors on Simplified. There's a Geo for this map, by the way. <laughs> Definitely, Leonard. I would be so disappointed in you. <laughs> Definitely. So then, Sarge, I'll drop you. Uh, you want a rake or Ted? Do you care? Does not matter. So I'll drop one of them, and then uh, we can do that. Okay. Whoever gets done, Ted, and grabs the baler. Basically. I can grab a baler too. That's true as well. Yeah. About to bring over the, the pink beauty. See, I actually wouldn't mind, you know, getting rid of that tractor and buying a tractor to replace it. Because right now that pink tractor is leased. We're we're actually spending a, quite a bit of money on leasing. Uh, leasing equipment right now. Here how finances go. Yeah. Okay, don't make fun of me too much. I'm trying to figure out where the field boundaries are, you know? Ah, right, Tony, you're good, man. Yeah, don't worry about it. These grass fields uh, are kind of tricky, you know? Like, you hey. got, like, the rough shape of them. Yeah, you can't tell. You're fine. Well, we're, we're totally not spending almost 30K each day on lease equipment. Not at all. You know what I call that, rocks? Investment. Living the American dream. <laughs> I thought that was taking on more debt. I mean, that too, right? Both. Whatever, whatever you spend money on. Just spend it, baby. Stuff. Spend it. Oh, uh, well, Leonard, I still want to get rid of that tractor and then just, uh, you know, buy another paint tractor. How about that? Because I, I still want to, like, you know, finance. Finan finan well, financially, horsepower I'm okay with, but financially it would make sense to get rid of the tractor and get something different. Just big of ultra. because I don't want to lease all the time. So, I can't pad like half of this out, Tony. <laughs> Sorry. No, it's, it's tricky to tell where the field boundaries are on these grass fields. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. You know, we buy the bigger vulture with duels all the way around. Maybe, yeah. Maybe upgrade, yeah. Or, or, hear me out here, guys. Or, 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 or. Oh, yeah, we're probably going to be or. working on that tonight in SnowRunner 2. Or, or. Yeah. 8RX. <laughs> but I can't get that in pink. So. Maybe. Yeah. Yes. Hmm, didn't think about that. <laughs> Did not think about that, but yeah, definitely like would would like to buy a tractor at least. Oh, can't said that apparently. Sarge, ready. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, about the uh, the uh, EN one. Oh yeah. That's what they're saying. Oh, well. Leonard's uh, Leonard says he agrees. You get rid of that ugly thing. Oh. For our next combine, we get the X9. Uh, maybe. Get it on the server. 
that thing's almost like a million bucks. Yeah. Kind of ridiculous. But well, which one do you want to get? The thousand or the eleven hundred? Go I'm big or go fine. small. Or go big or go home. All right. There's Top. not really a difference. Horse the difference. Power. Oh really? Uh, it's it's only, yeah, it's only horsepower. Ah, I got you. And in this game with combines, I don't know that horsepower really matters, you know? Well, yeah. you actually put like the real physics on. Like oh, real life, obviously. Sorry, sorry, just tied it up that again. Uh they said follow, appreciate you. Welcome on in chat. How's it going guys? How's it going? There's a mod that makes the game more realistic for like if it rains it creates mud piles and then if you oh. drive into it you can actually get your tractor stuck. Oh wow. Well it hates any well I've seen it hates uh, case quads. Ah. Because they just slide back and forth. Oh wow. Just sitting there you just start seeing it slide either to the right or to the left. That's kind of awkward. But uh, John Deere's not uh, they just sit there. There's not even movement. Hmm. First time here. Welcome in. How's it going? How's it going? Welcome on in. First time. I'm great. Just doing a little mowing mission. A little mow, tad, rake, fail, sell mission. Early game here still, so we do missions a lot. We do the missions. All of the missions. Really? My tether's raised right now. How did I mess that up? <laughs> do I do daily streams? Uh, not every day, no. I stream Monday nights, Tuesdays during the day. Uh, when I say night, it usually starts around 6 p.m. Daytime streams start at noon. Where's the JD? I'm driving one right now. I swear it's a JD. We have an 8R. China. We have an ADAR sitting on our homestead, for the record. Uh, what was I going to say? Oh, stream. I stream Monday night. I stream Tuesday during the day. Thursday during the day. A lot of times Thursday nights as well. Uh, Friday nights. And then Saturday, I stream starting at noon. And I stream till uh, like 10 o'clock at night. So basically, I'm on Twitch sometime every day. It's up for Wednesdays and uh, Sundays. So, I mean, you could say you stream daily, but not the same time every day. I also don't stream two days, though. So I don't stream daily. So, yeah. Never going to guess this. What country are you from? You're from. I had to take a drink. Um, The Netherlands. Netherlands. That's probably a good guess, Zach. I'm going to go with it. Netherlands. I'm going to go with Georgia. Belgium. <laughs> what? There's an actual country named Georgia. You didn't know this, Zach? You didn't know that? <laughs> Wait, what? There's a country named Georgia? Yes. 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 <laughs> More you know. There's a country named Turkey. There's a lot. Dude. Fine, guys. <laughs> the booty. All right. Every year when the, or not every year, but every other year when there's like an Olympic opening ceremony, you know, back in the day before Rona. Yeah. And they, and they do like the, the, like the, uh, the introduction of all the countries, you know, the opening ceremonies. Mm -hmm. Most of the time when I watch it, I'm like, that's not a real place. <laughs> <laughs> like every time. I've never oh, heard Frank, of that. I was part. talking like this guy's from Atlanta. I'm like, Frank, what? <laughs> but yeah, it's every time I'm like, country. that's not real. Or Luxembourg. Or right, that's that damn past geology class. Okay, Rocks, it's my joke. You can't steal it. 
Oh, but man. no, I didn't pass you. <laughs> uh, Tony, you bringing a bale picker? I was gonna bring a baler. Uh, why don't you just bring a picker? Okay. We got we got this handled. Otherwise, yeah, um, please outside. Up a yeah, bit. yeah, you're good, Arch. Man. <laughs> yeah, Sean, it'll be Snowrunner. Your thing, bud. Sweden. See if you would have said something about like you know your your meatballs, you know. Which by can I just say IKEA is overrated? Is that a, offensive? I feel like is. <laughs> what did I say? I don't know what you said. Start with an N. Cool. Netherlands. Netherlands. That's right. That's like by Sweden, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't. I, I don't say that again. <laughs> Sorry. In America, okay. Never mind. I'm just not even gonna go there. Tony, you got the bail picker. I'm getting ready to pick her up. I'm ready, getting ready to pick the picker. Okay. Actually, we need to probably should have left the more here because like we're gonna go to another field probably after this. Yeah. It's all good. I don't know about the meatballs. I don't. I don't. I don't know about the meatballs. I'm. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I, I've tried them. I don't know. I have to be in the mood for them. Wolf six, what's up, man? The uh, farming is going great. Trent, do you know how to drive? <laughs> yeah, I was gonna come steal yours. Like I know you live in Illinois, and I know like you know, <laughs> can't be uh, that hard to get a driver's license. But come on, man, lock it in, Trent. Come on. What? Like you've been saying a lot the past two weeks. Hey, you know what, Franco? I'm gonna need you to take fifty percent off that and lock it in, okay? <laughs> no. Entree. Is that your final answer, Tony? Lock it in. Lock it in yeah. yeah. I like the meatballs Always that I uh, that I make uh, personally. <laughs> oh yeah, Zach, easy. You're 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 insulting a lot of people when you rag on Illinois, you know. <laughs> I mean, how many governors you got in prison? Just because they're over there dodging all the <laughs> potholes, you know. That's why they look like they're driving crazy. They're just trying to <laughs> dodge the potholes, Zach. <laughs> they're playing. They're playing Frogger with you the front right tire. You know I'm not wrong, right? <laughs> Just saying. At least in the part of uh, the state that's kind of not far from us, you know? Like, it's terrible. Trent, what are you... Trent, are you guys both bringing bail pickers? Yeah. I don't I don't know what Trent's doing. What are we doing? Making, bro. Did you get done with your cultivating mission, Trent? Hey. I gave up. It was too laggy over there. I was saying, there's like 18 more cultivating missions. <laughs> he said I gave up. <laughs> I threw in Come the on. towel. Come on, Trent. Lock it in. What are we doing? I guess we're not doing this cultivating missions now. Uh, just leave 18 because that one started. I'll finish it up. After I'm done with the cotton. I don't know what that is, Chet. No, I don't. But, Tony, at least I took the shortcut. Did you do along this, uh, so, yeah, the Southern Edge Sarge or no? Not yet. With the rake, I meant. No, not yet. Oh, okay. So I need to go, just go, huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, you're, yeah, yeah. You're probably out of ground now, that. aren't you? Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's right. It kind of looks like it's raked because that's where Zach, like, didn't spread. It's like we told him not to. Oh, yeah. It's all good. Oh, good. Um, rock. <laughs> Do Illinois and Oklahoma use the same construction? Probably. You didn't see anything, Frank. Leonard, yeah. <laughs> Bro, they are the best. I don't know what that is, so. Colin, what's up? How's it going?
Here, here, Trent, don't pick up that white one. I'm going to drop these. Say so the white one goes to a different place. I'm going to drop these and I'll go run that white one. Do I need to Google it? I don't know what it is. Okay, hang on. Is that a sausage? Like a hot dog? Looks like a hot dog, bro. It's like what I would call an American hot dog. Two bale pickers, and there's still bales in my way. Man. Back. <laughs> no, 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 no. You're not blaming this on me. <laughs> I'm running the silage bale. I'm out of that field. That's on, that's on you. Don't lock it in, Trent. Backwards, lock, Trent. Trent. Trent, lock it in. Lock it in. I know, you're, I know your computer's like hardwired to, to a potato, but come on, man. Lock it in. You eat it on Christmas. You eat hot dogs on Christmas. Hey man, where floats your boat, you know? Usually water, but I got you. Hey so that follow, appreciate you. Welcome to the flock. How's it going? I get like a bell a uh, trailer and a half or so out of this field. Oh, that's not bad. Hey, so I follow as well. Appreciate you. Welcome on in, guys. There it is. Much better than hot dogs. Okay. Interesting. And I haven't had a good hot dog in a while, you know? What's time. better, a hot dog or a plain broth? Hot dog. Hot dog. Hot dog. I oh, used to I used but, to like brats, but like going to the Louisville Farm Show or Louisville Barn and Garden Show, like that, that ruined brats for me, man. Brat. I'm not really a big bratwurst kind of guy. The only bratwurst I really eat now is like when we go to Augustus Pretzel Zach. Yeah. And like they put the brat in the pretzel. Oh. I've been known to mess with one of those, you know. Yeah. Dip it in the little cup of cheese sauce. Oh man. Oh, that's not that's not fire. It is fire. They're like with a hot dog is still fire. They do the hot dog too. Yeah. It's lit. You know what I regret to this day? What's that, Tony? The last pumpkin day. So that would have been 2019. Your sister came around with like Gus's pretzels, like with a hot dog wrapped in like a Yeah. Pretzel. He was like, hey, do you want one? I was like, nah. I was like, why? You regret why, that why to this say, day, huh? Why do I say no? You know? Wow. Yeah. That's, that's my biggest life. The biggest, word, biggest life decision I've ever made. Tony, 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 I, you should go down and get some. Are you going to buy my Kevlar vest? Dude, no, it's not that bad going there. You're fine. Just look at the ground. Don't look at anybody the wrong way. <laughs> make sure your doors are locked. Don't make direct eye contact. Dude, you drive an old car. You'll be fine. I'll wear red or blue. Would your parents hey. let you go to downtown St. Louis? No. Why? Because they care for me and love me. They don't want <laughs> me to die. <laughs> But it's for the pretzels. Honey. Yo, pretzels can I can I like Grubhub some some Gus's pretzels from like downtown to St. Louis? Is that a thing? I don't try it. <laughs> Dude, I, I I ah man, I haven't had one of those since. Yeah, I guess probably then, Zach. Cause I have not been in there since like Rona started. Hey, I know that. If I'm ever in the area, I'll I'll, I'll get you. You're never going down there. I'm never in the air. <laughs> hey, Rock, can we get that smidge pass that we left? Yeah, I'll, go, I'll get the skipper. Oh, you can see the field boundary now. Like, out here where I'm at, it's not in the field at all. <laughs> so, Tony, since you're already up, I can make you feel like you're doing something. Uh, left you some bales. Wow. Are you full trend or no? I'm three shy, but he was already up here. Well, hang on. How many? How many more bales are there? There's going to be more than three. Okay, go ahead. Say, because we can, like, get on to the next mission, you know? 
get the next Balian mission going here. Which is, um, uh, what's it called? Oh, yeah, I can see the field boundary now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, 35. We need to make silage bales out of that. Okay, 35. Which is, uh, that other one over there. So we don't need. All I can get, I think. Do it a man to get it off, trying to Rooney. You might want to take th uh, 34, too, because that one's also silage. So Would have been a full uh, load. Let's do one at a time on this, because we need to get somebody in the moor right away, you know? All right, so Sarge, you just hang on to that. I'm going to leave this tractor here for now, and I guess i What field I'll... are we going to? Uh, 35. Okay, just running around the way. Uh, Tony? I, I don't know what happened there. Just... Thank you. Hit 35, Jenny? Yeah. Right. You know where you're going, Sarge? 35. But is you. Trent Trent got all the bales <laughs> in or Yeah, I got all of them. Okay. Yeah, I think I know how the way to get there. Sneak your way up the hill there. Oh yeah. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Could have turned right there probably where you were at. I probably could have. Oh good. I'm in route to begin. We're gonna do, take the scenic way, because do we way. So we need to buy some kind of mowing situation, right? Do we maybe just buy those moors instead of buying Big M? Because be, like, it'd be a lot be cheaper, a cheap wouldn't picture it? Right now, yeah. yeah. Maybe before we fast time, we get rid of the crone. Talking about like the Vicon moors? Yes, sir. Let's see. That's 71. No, 70. 76, I'm sorry. 76, too. For both of them? Yeah. yeah. That's not bad. What's a big Plus, M run? Like a whole lot more. Four. Yeah. Exactly. Three, so we could, we could buy... We could, we could basically buy the like the like those moors and a tractor for the price of the big M, right? And yeah. those moors are bigger than the big M just by a meter. Wow. So... We're just a little over... Yeah. Might make sense to do it that way. What's how fast are those mowers, Sean? 13, so two miles an hour slower than. I don't, I can't tell where I'm at, like where the field is, but I'm, I'm mowing. One problem. Uh. Goodness, where am I turning here? Okay. Uh, Bert, no, because those moors don't mount up like that. You got to put a front moor on and then put uh, rear moors on, if that makes sense. Not so, like the Pottingers. The Pottingers will mount like that, but then, it, like, if we have this mission where we need to just, like, mow, they're no good because then you can't, uh, you can't rake then, so... We can mow all the way to here, so I'll remow this. Kind of figure out the outline of this field, to be honest. If that makes sense, Bert, I don't know. The Pottingers will mount up like that, but they don't rake. Or they won't windrow it, so. And every the Vicon ones do, don't they? The Vicon ones, they'll rake it, but you can't daisy chain them up like you can. Uh, to me, the Vicons are the better more for our uh, application. So the Vicon, you can also uh, widespread it too. Yeah, if you want to, you can spread. Yeah, you can also like push it off the one side. Yep. There's a lot of things you can do with it. What about like the merger? Almost, yeah, almost. Pretty awesome. Hawkeye Kid, uh, Valiant, Valiant is kind of profitable for contracts. It's uh, more profitable if you own all the equipment, of course. But, yeah, I would consider it 
profitable for him. Yeah, well, he's saying for contracts. True. I would consider it profitable, yeah. I mean, we'll make money at this, yeah. Plus, we got everyone to run everything, so I mean, you could just get knocked out, you know? Llama, what's up? Yeah, if we have if we have the people, then like definitely, why not? You know. So. Definitely, why not? Yeah, if you're doing this day by yourself, maybe not as much, but. Well, unless you have like horse play or something. True. Because court actually horse play would keep it to that field boundary. Yeah, horse play is great with that. Yeah. And I love the new horse play. I haven't messed with it yet. Um, let's just say it's easier to find the setting to put down straw. Like if you want straw down or straw off. Yeah. It's in that gear menu with the advanced settings. Oh, I got you. It's been there for a while now, Ross. I could never find it. Uh, thanks for that follow, by the way. Appreciate you. Welcome on in. How's it going? Well, no, like you don't have to click on advanced settings. It's. Oh in there like you can see it and then like oh click yo hawkeye kid dude you can ask pretty much any question here and you'll get an answer um if i don't know the answer people on playing farms will know the answer oh we'll I, make something up or we'll just bull bull crap you until we come up with something thanks that file man appreciate you and a hawkeye kid i can't believe somebody banned you for asking questions uh, if you don't mind, click on my name and whisper me who it was. I'm curious. I like to you keep know. an I like to keep an eye on the competition. You know what I'm saying? My mom always says I'm pretty good at pulling answers out of my butt, so I mean I can do that for you too. You know, you know whatever. But no, whatever. we uh, we definitely do not mind answering questions around here. That that would be kind of silly to not answer questions about the game that I'm currently playing. Or yeah, honestly, I don't mind answering farm some questions when I'm playing Snowrunner. You know, don't say it on stream though. DM me who it was if you don't mind. We don't want to like talk trash on stream about people. We'll just do it behind their backs, right? Wait, wait. It's not it quite seems, what I meant. Seems kind of pointless to like. Cause that's viewers so you're gonna lose, you know. What's the square square root square root of one hundred and twenty? Not an even number. Because one square root of one hundred and twenty-one is eleven. Square root of 100 is 10. Hey, chat. There's going to be like 10 point something. 10.9544511501. Boom, roasted chat. Any other questions? That's 10 point something, isn't it? 10 point. Yeah, you did it. I Googled. <laughs> okay, you ran the rows that way. All right. Is there? <laughs> I literally just Googled his entire, Llama's entire comment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know, Sarge. There's, uh, there's not a better way to. I don't know. I figured I'd just pick a direction and go, kind of thing. <laughs> Bring it on, chat. <laughs> Meaning of life is pizza. Okay. I don't have a preferred tractor brand, JD or Case. I don't. Um, they both make good equipment. They both both make ones that burn, you know. They're both tractors. It's kind of it kind of is what it is, yeah. Oh, interesting. Interesting. A fifteen minute intro. Woo. Woo. Right, Fire Shadow? I mean, there does come a point sometimes when people are just like, hey, Ford versus Chevy, and they like do that kind of, those kind of questions for like an hour, and it's like, all right, guys, and knock it off, okay? You know? I see that. Thank you, man, for the DM. I appreciate it. PM, DM, whatever you want to call it. I appreciate you, man. Pizza, meaning of life is pizza. You thought that was my fast math? No, I Googled it. It was legit. That is the square root, okay? I googled. Hey John, can you do my algebra two homework for me? No. No. No, I can't. I'm really fast at math. I'm just not good at it. You know. 
flash unit, I did not know what was going on. Mainly because I fell asleep in that class at Hayford period. Gotcha. Where was 64, Johnny? Um, I'd have to type that into Google. Eight. Eight. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Trent. Uh, you come here often? What's up, man? Square root of nine. Three. Uh, I've not heard of people having problems. Hey, Twitchy. How's it going? You survived the... I mean, I know you did, obviously. Uh, the storms yesterday. How close were they to you? Yeah, trolling questions. That's when it's like, okay. You guys gotta, you guys gotta stop. But like, if it's just an honest, like, real question, I don't have any problem with people asking real questions. Uh, 34. User joined your We're making silage bales out of 34, right? Hey, Twitchy. Yes. What's up, Twitchy? How was how was the storm yesterday? Went north of me and went south of me. Okay. Nice. I saw some uh, big trees down on our news list yesterday. Big trees down down there. Hey, Twitch, I could talk this morning. That's an actual town. <laughs> Where in the Hannah Montana are the field borders for this field? Oh my god, I have no clue. Chat. Oh yeah, that field's a field joy. <laughs> I don't have a clue where the field boundary is. I just started mulling. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Mode. Just hope you guys get enough bales, you know? Man. I think somewhere over here. Get the rake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, our news cut to like live from down there yesterday, Twitch. Because they, well, see, our local Fox station got bought out by Nexstar. And apparently, Nexstar is like this huge conglomerate of uh, like news. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I didn't know that. My local news is with uh, Nexstar. And so now they have sister stations everywhere. Mm -hmm. And so now they can cut to like anywhere. So. Yeah, I think the closest damage to me was more straight line winds than tornadoes. I got gotcha. you. What it looked like, I was out there. I had to go get a haircut, so. Oh, so you don't, you don't have a flood like I do? Have a what? A what? We, flood. A flood? Oh, yeah, if he has a flood in his field right now. Oh. We kind of figured no. it wasn't too bad, because like, I asked last night, and somebody's like, well, he's still in AFK, and I was like, fair play. You are. You were still. Yeah. Yeah. If, if I ever disappear out of A, then either my computer restart or something's happened. Yeah. Yeah. So I was like, okay, fair play, guys. Fair play. I think I was only gave that answer. Yeah. All right. Hear that, Richard? Yeah. And I was. Normally I sleep. Normally I'm up all night, but mm -hmm. because of that stuff, part of it comes through. Yesterday, like lunch to four o'clock. Yeah. Well, I didn't sleep as well as I normally do, so I was up and down between noon and four a.m. I got you. Tony, are you gonna be able to get all of this? Probably. I not tell. Wait. That doesn't help at all. I have no idea where the field boundary is here. Uh, thanks, Chef Fowler. Appreciate you. Welcome in. How's it going? Did you at least get a nap today, Twitchy? Uh, no. I've been up since this morning. Okay. Oops. Uh, about. Leonard, if I had to only eat one pizza, I would eat pizza. Or if I only had to choose, like, one food, it would be pizza. Because there's so many different things you can do with pizza. And I really like pizza, too. Oh. So. so yeah, I'll be able to get all these So the question is, when the new pizza simulator game comes out, are you going to buy it? <laughs> I looked at it last night. It looks really interesting. Yep. You have to like poison your competition though. Did you see that part in the trailer? No, I didn't, but I've 